Hello everybody! Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. This is what we have created in my first part of video tutorial of a, a warm and cozy turtle neck cowl. So this is what we have created. It's so cozy. I really love this uh, yarn. It's a super lana maxi and there is a 25% of wool. So it's a acrylic wool yarn and I really love this uh, structure. It was super easy to make this part. I used only single crochet stitches. The pattern notes are available in the description box right below this video tutorial. And the written pattern is for free on my blog. So guys, now let me show you how to make the hood. This is the turtleneck hoodie. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So you will need two more balls. Alisa Superlana Maxi. And I will use 8mm crochet hook. Please find the middle stitch on uh, the front panel. The middle stitch and then let's move four stitches to the right side. And then grab the yarn and pull it through the layer like this from the wrong side to the right side. And I will make slip stitches, one slip stitch in each row. Okay, so one slip stitch in each row around. Make sure you work in a line. Don't skip any row. So one slip stitch is worked, you know, on the top of single crochet and the next slip stitch in between rows. It's like a top and down. Oops. <laughs> and work loosely so don't tight your work too much as this part will be around the neck and we need this part to be very flexible and stretchy so one slip stitch in each row and I will meet you once you finish the row of slip stitches. Okay. So one slip stitch in each row between single crochet stitches. I know it could be a real tricky to work loosely <laughs> so guys I'm at the end and I made four more slip stitches after the middle stitch okay so here we are and I have 60 60 stitches around you should have more but uh, I would not recommend you to have less okay so guys we just prepared the base row for the hood you can cut the yarn and fasten the end. And now let me show you how to make the hood. Find the first slip stitch. This one. There are one, two, three, four. Like this. And then 
rejoin the new yarn so make a loop pull it through the slip stitch chain one then yarn over and let's work half double crochet in each slip stitch half double crochet in each slip stitch from the beginning of the row till the end again please work loosely with this yarn and we are on the right side okay we are working on the right side so this is the right side of our hood and you should have the same number of half double crochet stitches as you have the slip stitches around okay so i'm at the end you see and i have 60 stitches around and there are one two three four stitches which are covered with the stitches i made at the beginning of the row now chain one and turn your work perfect and again I will work in rows and now it's really important to understand half double crochet stitch so this is the top and this is the third loop and I will make a slip stitch in each half double crochet so work in front and back loops on the top of the half double crochet and let's make one slip stitch in each stitch so you should have again 60 slip stitches around and you see the slip stitches are on the wrong side of your hood they are a bit hidden behind the half double crochet we created in the first row I'm at the end and let me show you how to continue so last slip stitch chain one and turn your work and let's work on the right side again of right side of the hood and now I will make half double crochet stitches again but it's important to turn your work a bit towards yourself and look on the slip stitches we just finished So you see there are slip stitches behind the half double crochet so this is the top of half double crochet and this is a slip stitch and I will work in a back loop of each slip stitch and let's make a half double crochet in back loop of slip stitches one half double crochet in each slip stitch back loop only so you have to turn your work a bit to find the slip stitch and to find the back loop perfect back loop the slip stitch and you will see in a few rows an amazing 3d pattern made with half double crochet stitches i really love this 3d pattern So again I'll, I will meet you at the end of this row 
let's work half double crochet in each slip stitch back loop only you should have the same number of stitches or if you want to have your hood a bit wider you can increase So I almost at the end. And if you want to increase, I would recommend you to make two half double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Okay. So if you want to increase, let's work two half double crochets in the first and in the last stitch okay but i think as we um, make a cross of the hood of the sides of hood at the beginning in the middle of the front part i think it's not necessary to increase but it's uh, fully up to you then chain one and let's make a slip stitch in each stitch and again let's look on the top of half double crochet this is it and work on the top of half double crochet and make slip stitches one slip stitch in each stitch and you see that again the slip stitches are on the wrong side of your hood and this is it my crochet friends just repeat row number two and three work in rows one row is a row with slip stitches this is it and the next row will be the row without double crochet stitches made in back loop of slip stitch this is it so guys you can keep continue crocheting and make your hood as long and as wide as you wish so work in rows back and forth and I will meet you once my hood is finished so here we are <laughs> here we are I put uh, the turtleneck inside so now it's uh, nicely visible how the hood turned out you see I love this pattern it's amazing it's stretchy very stretchy it's really warm and it's so cozy so I made 18 rows yes <laughs> and uh, I used up two balls so this is one ball and the second ball so this is the place where I attached the new ball the second ball so two balls for the hood and now I will show you how to join the hood oh, let me finish the row and the last row is a row with half double crochet stitches okay half double crochet in back loop of slip stitch from the previous row super now turn your work 
and and fold it in the middle and we will you can sew the top or you can use my style and I will attach the stitches with half double crochet stitch so you can clearly see the half double crochet here and there is a top of top of half double crochet and third loop which is hidden on the outer side you see this is the third loop third loop of half double crochet this is it so this is the top and the third loop is behind it and on this side the third loop is here close to us so this is the third loop okay and I will work in third loops I will make half double crochet stitches so yarn over and let's make half double crochet in the third loop of half double crochet on the opposite side now yarn over insert the hook in the third loop yarn over insert the hook in the third loops and make a half double crochet perfect again yarn over let's work in next third loop and one side and on the opposite side and let's make a half double crochet so this is it this is how you can nicely join the top of the hood it's quite easy and you will see the result is perfect so guys i will meet you at the end of the row at it amazing isn't it it's almost invisible I love this seamless turtleneck cool or hoodie so I'm at the end guys this is the end of the second wall <laughs> so I really used up Okay, so two balls and that's it. So then you work on the right side and you will see the result. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, perfect, perfect. I love it. It's seamless style. And I absolutely love this pattern. So let's look how my hoodie turned out. Pull the turtleneck into the hoodie. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is it. We are almost done. Perfect. So guys, what do you think? <laughs> so yeah, it's so stretchy and it's really warm. This pattern is really warm.
let me measure the hood again you can make it wider narrower longer or shorter it's you know it's a rectangle so 30 centimeters 12 inches and the length is it's um yeah, 30 centimeters, 11.7 inches. So this is it. And I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 rows. Rows with half double crochet stitches actually. <laughs> and uh, between the rows of double crochet, half double crochet stitches, there is always a row of uh, slip stitches. So guys, um, the last thing, if you want, it's optional, if you want, you can sew the edge of your hood. Okay, so I, I will use the thread from the coal And I will just sew a little bit, so fold the hood and sew the edge, if you want to, it's fully up to you. So it's about one centimeter or half inch fold and I will sew. It will create a really nice um, edge around the hood I'm at the end, perfect. So let's join the parts together and cut the ends and you can make a knot or two knots and hide the ends. So this is it. It's beautiful hoodie. I absolutely love this style. It's so trendy, it's, it's very modern. It's great for winter. You can make it for your kids as well. I think they will appreciate it. So guys, this is the end of the second part of my video tutorial. I would like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. If you will have any questions, please put the comment right below this video tutorial. You can reach me on my Facebook page, Pinterest and Instagram as well. It's beautiful. Please let me know how your turtleneck hoodie call turned out and if you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel so guys thank you very much for watching once again wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye